We are surrounded by so much technology that we sometimes forget the simpler electrical devices that have been with us for over a hundred years. One of these devices is the doorbell. To understand how it works, first of all we must know what an electromagnet is. An iron screw does not have any magnetism, but if we wrap a copper wire around it and add a battery, it becomes a magnet. This is called an electromagnet, and it is the foundation of the common doorbell. This is the bell ringer, one of the first electric bells ever manufactured. In addition to the electromagnet, it had a pair of contacts so that the ringing cycle of the bell would be repeated over and over and a continuous ring was produced in a circuit fed with batteries. Let's see how this widely used doorbell works. The electromagnet was made up of two coils of enamel wire connected in series, each with its own iron core. Near the pair of coils was a piece of iron called the armature, which was suspended with a flexible spring. At the free end of the armature, it was attached to a metal hammer, arranged so it would strike the bell over and over. The bell had a set of contacts. One contact was fixed and the other one was mounted on the armature. When voltage was applied to the bell, current would flow through the contacts and attract the armature, thereby hitting the bell with the hammer. The steel wire holding the hammer was flexible enough to allow the contacts to separate and the current was interrupted in the coils so the spring would pull the armature back to its initial position. When this happened, the contacts would close again and the current would flow through the coils and this action was repeated again and again, producing a metallic ring typical of this kind of bell. Later, the so-called buzzers came along and they were fed with AC, so it was no longer necessary to have contacts that were interrupted the current in the coils and they became very popular. This type of bell device is still widely used. Since there are always ingenious people around, someone came up with the idea of building a twin tone bell using brass tubular bells and two coils which, separately actuated, produce a very pleasant sequential sound and could also produce a different sound to let the homeowner know at which door the visitor was. These bells are still very popular despite of the host of electronic bells with all sorts of sounds. I hope you have found this video interesting. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Ciao Tarin.